Hey Leo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. Let's get a general reading for the Leo Collective. I'm going to pull four of my own oracle cards and some tarot and that's going to be it for today. All right. We have interaction. Okay. We have life path number five. This is about personal growth and exploration, experiences, challenges, and opportunities for change on one's path. Freedom, adaptability, individuality should be embraced at this time. It's also conflicts and unwelcome change, okay? Hmm. That's a uh, fixed sign energy. So Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus are the um, life path number, not life path number five, but the number five in numerology and uh, tarot. Is the fixed signs okay? Hmm. So you could be. Let me not jump ahead. Even though I mean it says interaction in life path number five, so there could be some conflict going on between you and someone. Maybe you got into an argument with someone. Fives can definitely represent argument. Spats not seeing eye to eye. We have hostage. Um. Hmm. Captivity held against your will, trapped and stuck. I just told y'all either last week or earlier this week that someone wanted to keep you stuck. So there's somebody hanging out in your energy. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Gemini, could be another fixed sign, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or a Taurus here. I just heard Pisces for some reason. Don't know why. And Cancer. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of you could be on the Cancer Leo cusp. It's like somebody here wants to keep you stuck in some kind of conflict. Every time you interact with this person, there's conflict. What is going on here? <coughs> Excuse me. They know secrets about them they can't afford to be exposed hmm okay this is holding something over someone's head like co confiding in someone who's threatening to use your secrets against you now and this wouldn't be you this is speaking of some kind of third party someone external yeah somebody is weaponizing information here that they know about the person that you're connected to this could be family friend lover co-worker it could be anybody okay but somebody in your energy that i feel like you don't see eye to eye with here this person could be stuck in some other dynamic um so if you're in a third party situation it's because this other person knows secrets about them that they don't want to get out interesting so we have weaponized we have offer revolt yeah there's somebody here that doesn't Want to accept that your person is no longer interested in them. That's crazy. So they weaponize the fact that they, they're they like holding this person hostage because they know these secrets about the person on your mind, the person you're connected to, this person in your energy. We have it gets easier. Practice makes perfect. This is mastery, manifestation, and hard work. The eight of pentacles. Some of you could be really hard at work. Um... You could be in training right now. You could even be starting your own business. We have rose-colored glasses, Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. Hmm. So this talks about being naive, gullible, idealistic, and dreamy. I feel like the person you're connected to thought this other situation they put themselves in was going to get better if they kept working on it. Some other connection that they're in. We have pride and joy, Leo energy. And then we have dirty little secrets. See, there's some kind of secret that somebody is harboring. Somebody could be in the spotlight here. This card is about success, victory, joy, happiness, accomplishment, recognition, being a center of attention, being on your high horse, pretty privilege and advantage, okay? This is somebody I feel like that really loves you, cares about you, has some kind of interest in you that they're not able to express because they're dealing with someone who's holding them back, harboring secrets, not even harboring secrets, but holding secrets over their head. We have a family member lying on you to the person in question. And then we have negotiate. Yeah, okay, so I don't know if you have a family member you don't get along with who's connected to this person that's showing up in your energy or not, but somebody close to you um, is spreading lies about you, okay? And with negotiate being here, could be a Capricorn. Um, I'm just hearing somebody playing both sides. You know what I'm saying? Against the middle. So there's somebody around you. I told y'all the other day that you can't trust. We have jerk. This could be an Aquarius. And we have dysfunctional family. Yeah, that's a family member of yours that could be going back to an ex or somebody that's hanging out in your energy. Mm. We have pay attention. We have in crowd. We have gimmick. And we have routine. Somebody in your energy. This, there's two people showing up here. 
But some of you, this is a family member or a close friend, maybe somebody you see as family or used to that is close to somebody that you used to date or something like that, okay? Um, somebody that has a connection to you and this person that's showing up in your energy. It's telling them things about you that are not true. And then there's someone on their end that's holding things over their head they wouldn't want to get out to the public. This is crazy. Okay, let's look at some tarot. What's interaction? We have the Seven of Cups. Hmm. Abundance of options. I don't like what I intuitively just picked up from there, but let's see what else comes out. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, we pulled the Knight of Pentacles already here. Slow and steady wins the race here with the Seven of Cups. It's like somebody here is procrastinating, um, trying to strategize, I feel like, how to come out of a situation. I just heard pick up the litter. I feel like, Leo, whoever this person is, you are their choice. Like you're their heart choice. You're the one that they want to be with. But they could be in some other long-term relationship that they want to get out of. You know, they could be a person who um <coughs> excuse me. Might be um feeling trapped. They feel trapped because of some kind of illusion here. And that's making them procrastinate and move really, really slow. So I feel like that's affecting your connection with this person. There's somebody else here. There are other options or at least one other option here, I feel. I feel like there's one particular person. But I'm going to tell you all what I picked up when I pulled the Seven of Cups. And this is not going to resonate for everyone. So please don't force it to fit if it's not your story. When I pulled the Seven of Cups and, you know, this card is all about tempting offers and options and keeping your options open and exploring options, right? But it's also a card of wishful thinking, clouded judgment, so forth and so on. While I do feel like there is someone in, uh, for some of you in your energy, that's moving really, really slow because they're trying to strategize. Knight of Pentacles is a very routine card, but it's also about strategizing, crossing your T's and dotting your I's and really kind of problem solving and attention to detail and all of that, right? Both of these cards represent procrastination and the need to make a decision, you know what I mean, and, and keep things moving. I kind of feel like um, when I pulled the Seven of Cups, for some of you, these options with all this secret energy coming out, somebody here is harboring a secret about the kind of options they've been exploring, okay? Um, this could be a person who is... Hmm, well, we did pull rose-colored glasses, right? We did. We pull rose colored glasses with it gets easier. So I, I'm going to go back to that in a minute. But because I came out with um, it gets easier. And I said they could be trying to work steadily, trying to work on something that they see is not working with someone else. But I feel like this could be a person with all these this secret energy coming through. They might be a person who goes both ways. They might be a person who is like sexually fluid is what I will tell you here. That's just intuitively what I picked up. Now, don't. Take that if that's not, you know, if that doesn't sound like your story. But if you have a sneaking suspicion that the person you're connected to might, you know, kind of straddle the fence when it comes to sexual partners, then pay attention, okay? Because I do feel like here that there is somebody that keeps their secrets, their confidant, but they can't trust this person, but they're so heavily invested that, you know, the damage has already been done. Others of you to go back to these cards, um, we have It Gets Easier, literally the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, the Eight of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy. This is Virgo energy as well. Same kind of energy. Okay, practice makes perfect manifestation. Same thing, hard work with rose-colored glasses, which is the Knight of Cups, which is the same as the Seven of Cups. Same kind of energy. I mean, that's interesting. Somebody's birthday could be August the 7th or um, the 8th. Somebody could be born in the year 1987 or 78. But um, back to this. Yeah, I feel like... Um, Something over the last seven months could be significant here with interaction. But I do feel like they are kind of like trapped in this situation with this person that they thought it was going to get easier. You know, they have on rose colored glasses with the seven of cups. That's literally what it means. Idealism, illusions, you know, wishful thinking. Like, I think I can. I think I can. But it's like, no, you can't. <laughs> so there could be a Virgo or Scorpio here or maybe connected to your person. This could even be with your family member. But they, there are two people in your energy that I don't trust. Show me life path number five. Unwelcome change, okay? We have justice, Libra energy. Hmm. Some of y'all found out the truth about something. 
Oh, okay, there's too many. I just want one. One more, please, spirit. Okay, I guess I gotta take it. We <laughs> we have the ten of swords with the three of cups. I just heard trauma bond when I pulled that. I told what the um third or March the tenth could be significant, but this is like it says growth here, but this is a painful ending. It's betrayal. It's cheating. It's feeling backstabbed, you know, hitting a dead end, a rock bottom. But I kind of feel like trauma bond here. I feel like somebody here is linking together with other people. Maybe there could be three people involved. I feel at least two. But um, I feel like this is the family member. And I feel like this is the other person here. There's like some kind of sabotage, some kind of ambush taking place here. But I feel like what they don't realize is karma is playing out. So whatever they try to send towards you, I feel like it's coming right back to them. Yeah, because with Lady Justice here, how, how are you going to pull this off? This curse, this hex, this negative energy that someone is sending you. And like I said, I feel like there's a group of people here teaming up, being really pitiful, trying to throw you off your A game. But justice is here. You know, so some of you are seeing the truth about this. It may be an, an unwelcome change. But it's something that it says here that it's experiences, challenges, and opportunities for change on one's path. Freedom, adaptability, and individuality should be embraced at this time. So some of you may find yourself like you are the only person you can lean on right now. Because there's definitely like a friend or family member siding with this, your ops, like I told y'all the other day. And this is like a group of people coming together, three people possibly. Show me how to stitch. Six of swords. Hmm. I just feel somebody's trying to keep the peace with somebody here. We got the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. <laughs> there also could be somebody staying with someone because of money. We got Aquarius, Pisces, and Capricorn energy here. So there could be a Queen of Pentacles here. I don't feel like that's you. I feel like this is someone else that this person wants to walk away from. Uh, yeah, they want to move on. Because the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups both talk about releasing baggage and moving on with or without someone. But they're being held hostage by this person, this Queen of Pentacles. And she might not, she might definitely be somebody who is very successful, financially stable. They could be financially dependent on this person. But they're emotionally unfulfilled in this other connection. I just don't understand why they're teaming up with your family. Like, we're going to have to maybe get a second deck. Okay, show me. Um, They know secrets about them they can't afford for them to expose so somebody's holding something over their head. This Queen of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands. It's sex related, y'all. I told y'all. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It'll be another fire sign. I feel like this person engages in something sexually that they don't want you to know about or anybody else to know about. But this particular person that they're with might engage in these behaviors with them. Okay. Chariot. Mm -hmm. This is all about conquest. These two coming out together, this is all about conquest. I'm getting big ego here. Because the chariot is a conquest. I just heard what's done in the dark gonna come to the light here. I'm just I think somebody's sexually fluid. I really do. It could be a cancer, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Hmm. So I'm seeing January 7th, um, July the 1st, June 8th, August the 6th. I'm saying October 11th, March 11th, November the 10th, November the 3rd. Um, any of these could mean something to you. We have the Six of Wands. Here you are again coming out as Six of Wands. So you're going to be victorious. It looks like you have spirit guys here watching over you with the Six of Swords being here. I just kind of feel like you're being moved out of the way. Six of Wands, Ace of Swords. Yeah, some kind of truth. It's like you're seeing the truth of a situation. King of Wands, this is Leo energy. Yeah. You're very empowered right now. I feel like some of you are going to kind of like fall back. And these people about to hit a string of bad luck here. There could be a Taurus in your energy. Leo, Aquarius, Gemini. It could be another Leo. Maybe you are the Knight of Cups. But the Temperance. Yeah, somebody learning something the hard way here. They learn in the hard way. But it's like they're trapped in this situation. Yeah, this person is going to have a change of heart. I feel like they're going to have a new perspective on this. But I'm going to get a second deck of cards because I need more information about um, 
you know, what I'm thinking up here. But there's somebody definitely weaponizing here that somebody doesn't want to be with them. You have the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Cups just came out. And the Knights are all about offers, you know, movement, um, advancing. So I feel like there's someone here who wants to move on from a situation. But again, that person knows their secrets. So they're like trapped in that situation. Even though, Leo, I don't even know if you would want to be with this person if you even knew their secrets. Hold on a second. I kind of felt like I wanted to use these little um, cards here. Show me interaction. Um, with the six, uh, the seven of cups, knight of pentacles, yeah, hierophant, Taurus energy, yeah. Hmm. Spiritually aware. It's about teaching and guiding, marriage material, avoiding conflict, yeah. So this, this is what's happening here. This person is trying to keep the peace with this other energy, this karmic energy that they're around. They could be married to this person with the hierophant being here. <clears throat> we have the tower. Look at that, Scorpio Aries energy. Fragile connection, weak foundation, abrupt ending, start fresh and clear out the old. See, this is what this person is trying to do. They're married to someone. Someone's birthday could be May 16th. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus. But it's like this person is trying to move forward, but they feel trapped in this marriage or whatever this dynamic is with this um, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So this is what's going on here. They're like wanting to... I just, I just heard I'm fighting for my life. Y'all remember that time when... Um, uh, what's her name? Gail, Gail King had interviewed R. Kelly and he was trying to make excuses for his weird behavior and he was denying everything as we would expect him to do, right? Not being accountable. I mean, the justice card is here, which is like somebody thinking they're going to get away with something, but they're not. Okay. Um, he kept saying, I'm fighting for my life out here. I don't know how to hog tie nobody. Y'all remember that? It was hilarious, right? So <coughs> he is an Aries too. I do feel like somebody could be on the Aries Taurus cusp. I do feel like there's somebody in your energy, though, who's in a situation where they truly are fighting for their lives. <laughs> but it's like something explosive would come out about this person if they break it off with this other person. Show me my path number five. Look at this, y'all. Leo. Um, some of y'all are dealing with a Leo. Now, this is actually supposed to be the Five of Swords, but I just put it on the wrong card. So I'm going to read it as Leo. Bitter, jealousy, and battle. Yeah. It's a number five. Life path number five. And then we have, um, what is this? We have the Magician. Mmm. Spell work. Somebody's into dark magic here. You got the Ten of Swords coming out with the Magician and the Five of Wands. Yeah, that's somebody here that is really, really sinister. But guess what? They're going down because the universe is judging them. They're facing some kind of judgment. This could even be some kind of court case going on. Somebody might be trying to win some kind of court case at all costs because this truly is the power of swords, which talks about winning at all costs. But there's somebody in your person's energy. They could have even reconciled with this person while you two were together and it's backfiring on them because this person is very dark. They're definitely into dark magic, black magic, whatever you want to call it. With the Ten of Swords coming out with the Magician and Five of um, Wands. Yeah. For some of y'all, there's a friend or family member here too, though, that you cannot trust. Let's get to Hostage. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Seven of Swords. Aquarius Energy Deception. So, we have Gemini, Virgo, Leo. And then we have the um, Wheel of Fortune here. Oh, my God. Somebody is trying to manipulate fate. They could be an Aquarius, Leo, Taurus or um scorpio july 10th or october 7th could be significant may 1st somebody could be 51 born in the year 1951 i don't know um january 5th aquarius is your opposite sign yeah so this is what's happening somebody is in this secrets lies wearing a mask and deception energy i feel like some of y'all need to really watch somebody in your family okay somebody is trying to create a lot of chaos to keep a relationship that they know the other person doesn't want with them. And instead of them just accepting their losses, they are sitting here fighting and using spell work, hexes, curses. They're trying to do any and everything that they can to throw you two off your, your um, path. Show me they know secrets about them because this is what I really want to know. What's going on with these secrets? We got the hangman. Hmm. Hangman came out at the bottom of the deck, right? Pisces energy. I will protect you at all costs. Yeah. 
So this is Aries energy. Somebody could be on the Pisces Aries cusp. December the 4th or April the 12th could be significant. Y'all, it says I will protect you at all costs. And I'm trying to figure out what the secrets are. So there's somebody here. I feel like they have sworn to secrecy that they want to leave. They have a new perspective on this person. Because the hangman is like, you know, a surrender or a sacrifice of a connection. It's avoiding romantic pressure. It's like they want to leave this person. But they know that this person harbors all of their secrets. And this is emperor energy. So the emperor could definitely be very, very controlling here. Okay. This person could be an authority figure. I'm seeing the chariot here with the... um the emperor so they could definitely be somebody in law enforcement or something here or there could even be some kind of criminal activity for those of you where it's not related to sex okay even though the ace of wands came out to clarify the secret with the chariot i just kind of feel like somebody they're they're fluid and they get around and all of their little dirty secrets this person knows we had dirty little secret come out so i mean leo this has been a mess but i'm gonna go ahead and leave it there because we're at 20 minutes and i still got 11 more signs to do so i need to get a move on but you know y'all are y'all are quickly becoming my favorite sign to read for because y'all are the most interactive i thought it was gonna be my sign because taurus is known on youtube as being like the most interactive and engaging when it comes to tarot but not on my channel and i'm a tourist so i'm like whatever <laughs> anyway but i do appreciate you all you you know y'all really y'all put a smile on my face i really do appreciate you guys for being here you know being um committed to the channel and you know because there's so many readers on youtube so many great readers on youtube that it can be overwhelming to pick like who am i going to listen to <laughs> you know i've been listening to tarot for years so I know how it can be. So I do appreciate y'all. I just want to say that. But this person in your energy, I'm just going to put it to you like this. Wow, we got the emperor at the bottom of the deck too. Some of y'all, there's an Aries in your energy. Whoever this person is, they are, they're going to extremes here. It's a cover their tracks, okay? They could be married to this person for sure with the, um, the emperor coming out and the hierophant coming out. I feel like some of you are dealing with a divine masculine who's in distorted energy and this person might be sexually fluid. Maybe that doesn't bother you. Some people don't care. Um, that's not my cup of tea, but if that's something that you like, I love it. You know, if you feel like that doesn't matter to you. I don't think you feel like that. I don't think you know. But this is the secret that this person is holding over their head and it could end up coming out anyway. We got opposites to track. Balance each other out, compliments you. It works in differences. Libra energy. We got sexual chemistry here. This is Queen of Pentacles again. There's a Capricorn, y'all. This person has a lot of money, but I'm telling you, they're also very sexually fluid, whoever this person is. And so they don't have a problem with your person. And then this person is copying you. Yeah, you're, you're the empress here. You can have Taurus or Libra placements. Then we have strength, Leo energy, the peacemaker, staying calm, inner peace. Like some of you are really avoiding this person. I told you they're facing judgment. Could be a Scorpio. We're going to go ahead and leave it there because I could talk forever. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all the next time. Just understand there's a family member or friend or somebody that you two know in common, okay, between the two of you that's carrying tales, lying on you to this person, okay, because they're trying to, for some reason, establish some kind of connection with them and it's not romantic i don't think but just i'm gonna give you all an example <laughs> it's so crazy because i had a dream about this lady last night if y'all watch the show love and marriage huntsville and you know melody holt even though she just changed her name but melody on the show i think melody is a is a narcissist that's just my opinion um everybody she brings on the show seems to either have to kiss her butt or she ices them out and i actually find most of her friends to be the same as her um, so some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio because she tends to surround herself with a lot of Scorpios. Now, she had one Taurus friend who I actually didn't have a problem with on the show. They gave her like this reputation for being a, a troublemaker, a problem, problematic person. And I always felt like she was just defending herself. I mean, that's what a Taurus is going to do. You don't back us in the corner because the horn's going to come out. But they put her off the show and say she was problematic and angry and bitter. And I'm like, what? All these women on there, all they do is just stir up a bunch of troubles. But whatever. Anyway, so Melody... Um, is now befriending the girl, T the woman Tisha's cousin. So I'm going to give you all some kind of context here. Tisha's cousin is like more loyal to Melody than she is to Tisha. And that's just, that just rubbed me wrong. Because I'm very much, you know, as a fixed sign myself, just like you, we pride ourselves on loyalty. 
You know what I'm saying? And to see somebody's family member side with somebody they know don't get, get along with their family member who's done nothing to them. That's what I'm picking up here. It's like, I don't know what your family member or friend or whoever this person is has to gain by linking with this person. But whatever they're out to get is very much driven by ego. This person could be a person that was always in competition with you with the five of wands coming out here. Because that definitely talks about conflict, competition, um, external forces. Okay, so it's just like a group of people, at least up to three, who are doing this. Who are sending you like a lot of negative energy. But you are protected. You got your spirit guys here. You got the justice card. Karma will play out. I feel like their whole little organization is going to fall apart. Because they're not doing the right thing here. With the hier hierophant coming out with the tower. It's like in the end, you know, good trumps evil. Anyway, those are your messages. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.